I just received the newest by Acre Rollator and I figured I'm going to unbox it right in front of you guys so you can see my initial reaction, how to put it together, what it looks like, all that good stuff. I love the color, very classic. All right, so it looks like the base comes full. I just have to put the wheels on. Before I do that, I just noticed it comes with a tabletop and a basket. So these are the front wheels. Definitely make sure you have a pair of scissors around. Already I can tell that this rollator is definitely more stable uh, than some of their other ones, potentially weighing a little bit more. on and now let's do the front wheels. All right, one is on. Let's do the other side. This was looking very short, uh, so I'm curious how tall it will be. Let's put the last wheel on. So they have marks on here, so it makes it easy to line up. Wheels are on. All right, now that we've got it out of the box and the wheels are on, we can play around with it. I am loving how smooth it feels. It glides really nice. But the first thing that I always like to do when I get a new rollator is make sure it fits me, meaning the armrests are the appropriate height. The way that you do that is you step into it, drop your hands down, and it should fit you right at your bones, your wrist bones right there. So this actually is a good size for me. It might be slightly too low. So let's look into changing the height. All right. So it looks like we turn these knobs and then we can, obviously this is way too high for me. Wow, that goes really high. If you are tall, wow, I am, whoa, I'm very impressed. I'm not sure if it's designed to be, let me just lock it, there we go, now it's locked. I'm not sure if it's designed to be used higher than what's normal, but I almost feel like this could be used as a standing walker, a standing rollator to see if that could help your posture. One thing to know, however, is that if you have a posture when you're walking where you're slouching, getting a higher surface like this does not necessarily mean that you'll walk better up here. You're going to have to fix the weaknesses and the tight muscles that are causing you to walk like this. Otherwise, you'll still walk like that. Your arms will just be higher. I love how high this comes. That's really great. This is way too high for me though. So let's turn it back around. We'll lower it to a more appropriate height for me. Let's see if that would work. And that's a little too high. There we go. And just lock it in place. Perfect. All right, so that's a great height for me. I'm loving, I cannot get over this bar. I love that the handles are not two separate handles. It's all one. Because also what I'm noticing is that this right here is the brake. And so you can just push down on the brake with one hand or lift up with one hand. When you're walking, you can also put the brake on just using one hand. That is so important. I work with so many people with multiple sclerosis who don't have strength in both hands. 
So this is a way to use just one hand to put on the brakes. I love that. One thing that differentiates this rollator from the other biker rollators is the basket. So it came with this tabletop tray, which I love because you can put something from the kitchen on it and then walk your way over to the kitchen table and eat there. You can put your book and your phone on it and then go into the other room. So I love that it comes with this, but it also comes with a basket so you can store things in there too. I really, really like that feature. I also really like the wheels. This might sound like a weird thing to say, but these rubber wheels are fascinating. They glide so smoothly and I feel like they would be perfect for indoor use, you know, for any type of carpet, even double carpet like I have here, hardwood floor, tile. I love, love these. Overall, I would rate this roll later a 10 out of a 10. I love that you can stand right in the middle of it. I feel so stable. I almost feel more stable in this than any other rollator. I feel like I could put more weight through my arms without running the risk of it tipping over. So that is a huge, huge perk, especially if you are someone who does put more weight through your arms. I envision this rollator being the perfect fit for someone who mostly uses their walker or rollator indoors, who also needs to get close to surfaces so you're not reaching too far for things and needs a basket. Again, there is the extra perk of being able to put more weight through it. Not that you should ever put more than 50% of your body weight through the mobility aid anyways, but if you do need to, this has so much more stability than other rollators. So that would be another benefit if you're thinking about getting this specific one. It's also going to be perfect for someone who has weakness in one hand because you can activate the brakes either by lifting up or lowering down with just one hand. Lastly, I'm just going to say it. I love this color. It's so neutral. I feel like it would go with any type of furniture that you have within your home. It would blend in nicely. It's a classic color. Great job, Bi Acre. Comment below with any thoughts or comments that you have about the Scandinavian butler. Thank you.